Hey guys, Rodney Walker here, Grants Central USA, get funded with Rodney. I'm over at the Grants community blog and I want to talk a little bit more. We've been looking at the whole issue of doing budget narratives. We've been talking about the importance of making the connection between the budget narrative and the program goals and objective. And in the last video that I did for you, I talked to you about the budget narrative and I shared with you that there was a link and these are some additional links that provide you with samples. We're right now going through the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration sample that they have. Well, I'll say that about three or four times, huh? But if you go and check this out, you'll see a couple of things. We're going to take a look. Last week we talked, last time we talked about the, the importance that all applicants must have a detailed narrative explaining and justifying the federal and non-federal expenditures. They, they want this to be done by object, objective classification or categories. And I want to just give some clarity about it. They're wanting you to do this for clarity and simplicity. So when you're doing your budget, just think to yourself, Hey, we've got to put things in an organized manner. And so what they're saying by class, and categories if you're working on a budget and you're doing a budget and you have something dealing with for instance equipment everything dealing with equipment should be in that category everything dealing for instance if you're dealing with salaries or budgets such as looking at the the budget expense that may be associated especially with the program. You want to show that in categories. Let me give you a little bit more clarity. Here is personnel. So everything with it is talking about the personnel expenses, uh, fringe benefits. Everything's categorized in that area. Uh, for instance, travel. These, these are different categories. And so the more you can keep things organized, the easier it's going to be for the reader to understand your budget. And it's going to be easy for you later on to justify and give a narrative about that expense. Does this make sense? I hope it does because really budgets are simpler than we make them. When you first start, I know it can be scary, but they've given us some great examples here that we can take a look at. And I want you to read them and let's remove the fear factor out of this so that you can go and get funded again. I'm here to help you to succeed. I want to see you score touchdown. And the way we score touchdowns is by reading these instructions, following them carefully. And when we do so, we can achieve the goals that we have to get funded. That's all I have for now. Make sure that if you found this information helpful to stay tuned for the next one or take a look at some of the old ones that have been done because insight is in each of them to help you to get funded. Take care. Talk to you soon.